This is the most hilarious Bloody Mary I have ever seen, and there is no question that there is an unofficial race to have the craziest Bloody Mary of them all. Check this out. This Bloody was created by comedian Randy, uh, how do you say it, Lidke, in Los Angeles. Okay, it features an entire pizza, fried chicken, <laughs> two burgers, garlic bread, french fries, onion rings, two cold cut sandwiches, and a second Bloody Mary resting <laughs> precariously on top of the first one. On Thank the other side from the pizza. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Thankfully, our next guest doesn't judge her bloody solely on the topping. It's true. Susan Feebig developed a 50-point rating system, and the results are listed in her book called The Bloody Trail, In Quest of the Best Wisconsin Bloody Marys. And Susan's here with us now along um, with some Bloody Marys mm -hmm. and a copy of her book so we can learn a little bit more about your top 10 list. Absolutely. Featured in your first book. Good to have you here. Thank you so much. I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, we're we're glad that you brought along some Bloody Marys. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a it's a good waker upper. Yeah, uh -huh. you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm assuming or guessing that you love Bloody Marys. I did not when I started writing the book. Wow. No, way. no I did not. But I have learned to love them. Yes, definitely love them now. Okay. Yeah. And in, I'm very fussy. Very fussy. Yeah. What, in your opinion, makes a great Bloody Mary? Not a good one, but a great one. A great one. Well, um, in the book, I talk about the the criteria that makes the best Bloody Marys. And you, you can deviate from that, those criteria, but I have seven things. It's got to be a good size glass, which is a pint glass. This is a good mm -hmm. size glass. Okay. Yep, that yep. one right there. Yep. Okay. Not that the other ones are this bad. This one right here. Yes. Because th that one in front right here is Too really small. small. Too, Too small. small. Yeah. This is pretty. That works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this that's one right here. Okay. Yeah. But the pint glass is what I call for. I like to have celery salt on the rim. Mm. And I like to know that it's been kind of shaken up a little bit. Okay. Get, get all the juices going, you know? Yeah. And then it also has to have good veggies. Doesn't have to be over the top like a lot of them are, but I do give them extra points if they do have over the top veggies. Um, I also want to make sure that um, the beer that you get has to be a free chaser. Mm -hmm. Now you step right outside of Wisconsin and they don't know what chasers are. And you know what? I found that to be true. Yeah. I did not know that was a Wisconsin thing. But if you go to other states and order Bloody Mary and you say, I'll have a chaser with it, they're like, they're like huh? what? <laughs> you want a beer with your Bloody? And they'll oh. bring you a full-size beer. Yes, but then you pay for it. Yes. In Wisconsin, you get a beer chaser free. Hmm. So that's what's cool. So the size of the beer is good. Um, and then it also has to look pretty when it's brought to you. But that's not the bottom line. Out of all of that, it has to taste good. It okay. just has to have a good taste. So you can make it all pretty, but if it doesn't taste good, it's not going to score high. So did you go by yourself and did you get recommendations? Because, you know, everybody has their opinion where their favorite Bloody Marys right. are. And they'll say, this is where you got to go, best Bloody Mary in town. Did you take those and, and did those ring true? Um, a lot of them did. A lot of them did not. But I'm open to all suggestions, and I have hundreds of them. And to get the top ten plus one, and we can talk a little bit about why I have a plus one, to get those, I probably tasted over 100 bloodies. Wow. So what I'm doing now, I'm actually working on book two, which is called Adventures on the Bloody Trail. <laughs> I'm having all slurred. The whole book is in slurred <laughs> writing, handwriting. <laughs> exactly. Um, I'm writing again because I've met such wonderful people that love Bloody Marys and throw Bloody Mary parties, so I'm including them in the book. But I'm also adding another 10, possibly 20, because I'm finding a lot of really good Bloody Marys. I Ooh. want you to do a third book and do the best dirty martini in the <laughs> there state. You go. Yeah. I bet you're getting a lot of suggestions I, yeah. for other drinks. I, oh my gosh. <laughs> or old fashions. People yeah, have asked me about that's those. That's a Wisconsin yeah, thing, for sure. Yes. Let's talk about some of the ones that, that won, in your opinion. Sure. Um, the Wicked Hop, for example, yeah. in the Third Ward, that's yeah. one that you really liked. I did like it. Um, they mix up a big batch every day and they stir it constantly to make sure that it's it's good and tasty all the way through. And um, as the picture shows, it's a t nice tall glass, nice beer. That's mm -hmm. perfect. Looks pretty. Um, has a lot of veggies. They use that string cheese, uh, whipped string cheese on the top. Yum. And it it tastes good. So That's great. What's our next well. one then? Is it Sobelman's? Because I've been there. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love what they top it with. There's cheese. There's some meat. They they serve it in like a pint or it's not a, a pint, mug. but a um, yeah a mug. Yeah. Like a jar. Exactly. Yeah. And and you know what? This picture is from when uh, Dave Sobelman started making these bloodies. He now adds burgers. Or he's got one that's called the Baconator, which is a, a skewer <laughs> yes. of bacon, one piece <laughs> after the other. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's over the top.
But uh -huh. again, it. good tasting bloody. Yeah, I like it bloody. when there's a little slider on your bloody Mary. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Blue fees in Madison yeah. is one that it made your top ten list. Blue fees is a vodka torium meaning they take vodkas and they infuse um, like oh. bacon in it or um, um, sriracha. I mean, they have, yeah. so they're known for that. They have very good food, but the picture you're showing here is called the fat boy, <laughs> which <laughs> it's bacon That's infused big. vodka. You can see Yum. the celery on the rim, which Love looks that. lovely, and then a big slab of bacon, of course. And then other, uh, other um, winners were Kitty O'Reilly's. Yeah. That's in Sturgeon Bay, mm -hmm. Industry Cafe. Mm -hmm. um, also, the interior view um, we had of, of the restaurant, but this one really shows off how big their bloody is and oh, all the toppings on it. This is a 20-ounce glass. It's on a stem, but it's huge, and it's very tasty. Where is this one from? That's Kitty O'Reilly's. That's Kitty O'Reilly's. Okay, that's Bay. the one in Sturgeon Bay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I love wow. that. I know. That's incredible. It's a lot of fun. So right. when can we expect your next book? I'm trying to get it done for this fall. Okay. It's a lot of drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Got to pace yourself. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you can get a copy of Susan's book by going to her website. It's thebloodytrail.com to get that top 10 list of Bloody Marys in the state of Wisconsin. More to come, but you got to get the first one and start there. Exactly. It's yeah. great. Hard thank work you. and research. Yeah, I know. I love we it. We appreciate Somebody's it. Somebody's got to do it. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's good stuff. Nice to meet you. Thank good you so you. much. You bet.